point, Naresh's view makes the most logical sense. I am a big dog lover. So it is sad. I am not convinced by any of the arguments given by the others. Can you find more convincing grounds for keeping treaties where they are than just kindness to animals, Priya? Yes. Uh, again, that assumes that anybody, including us, which is the point I hate, I, I absolutely dislike myself being in that position, that we have answers or that we have control. We have neither. So what else do we do with the treaties? We are governed largely by the laws of the land. If the laws of the land says, take them all into a pound and put them there, we may hate it, but we will follow. The current laws of the land are what they are, which means the dog remains there, the dog is neutered, vaccinated. So for God's sake, my only request is to people who vilify people like us, who are doing nothing but wasting our precious time in trying to build up systems. Dr. Shinde will tell you there was a time there was not even one zone in Bangalore for ABC. We've built it up to eight zones. We've got a bunch of people who are a good network to make sure that ABC is happening with the community, not just with the ABC center or with BBNP. So my request is, as long as you strengthen your ABC in your zone, you can do better. But can I answer this question saying, find me a convincing argument to keep them off the streets? You find and nobody do that. And nobody do that. Or we could all move to the US or move to another country where we can just take all the dogs. Florida has a rule where the dog is not, you know, found the owner within eight hours, they euthanized. Maybe we should all go there. It could happen to our pet dogs. We have rules within our country. You know, Ramji, I want to tell you this. It's very interesting. You know, we've got with one of the few countries that got very strong rules in terms of testing for cosmetics. We do not allow pedigree imports into our country. We've got such strong, good laws, but a lack of implementation. Our breeding laws are probably one of the best in the world, but they have not been implemented. Today, Sudha was sitting with 10 or 12 dogs that were in terrible condition, including a spray for improve, improving the sexual pro prowess of these dogs for forcible you know, mating. And it, it is sick to see these puppy mills at work. You want me to tell you very simply what this whole issue is about. We've promoted Indie Dog Day. We've talked about a lot of different things. But look at this world. And I, this is an image, I think, if we stay with this, we will understand what this whole problem is about. Look at this market, like a supermarket. And look at three conveyor belts which are coming in. One is the pedigree dogs, the so-called ethical bred pedigree dogs. The second one are the ones that come in from puppy mills and backyard breeding. So visualize one more conveyor belt coming in with these sort of, you know, not so good quality dogs that are Dalmatians and pugs and whatever else. The third are the Indian dogs, which, you know, are people are homing more and more. Bangalore is fabulous for rescue and adoption, by the way. Fabulous. The best in this country. The fourth is the so-called street dogs that we're not able to control because there's a lack of ABC and, uh, you know, spay neuter programs that are effectively controlling the population. The fifth is the saddest of all. The fifth is the old discarded and reused dogs. The dogs that come from each of these four conveyor belts and come back onto the fifth one because they've been discarded by a Priya, rejected by a Sudha, thrown away by somebody or ill and cannot be uh, looked after. So, that meeting cycle is over. so these are your five conveyor belt inward. And let's look at the supermarket, Ramji. You know, I'm sorry, this is the part that gets me so angry because we've all been in that supermarket at some point. Some people haven't stepped in, some people have. I never was in the supermarket. I got a CJ by accident and I'm so glad that I did. But in the supermarket, they're looking for pedigrees because they want the best looking stuff in the market. They're looking and with the 10 people that come to the supermarket to buy, there are hundreds coming in in the, in, in the conveyor belt and we are not controlling the indie dogs with a good ABC. We're not adopting enough of the indie dogs. The damn pedigree dogs are coming in through terrible puppy mills and backyard breeders. And so that will tell you, we were handling a case this, this morning, which was tragic at any point. And then we have the ethical breeders. Where are these dogs going to go? So we can do as people, and I hate the word activists, but as people who are enablers and catalysts, we can only say, get more people to the supermarket. One, get them to be more sensible when they go to the supermarket. Two, third, Please let's forget being, you know, Brahmins and castes and, you know, saying I only want this one. Where are you from? From India. Look at an indie dog. The fourth, this whole issue of saying I want a brand new dog. You know, this whole virgin bride uh, issue that we all have, right? Sorry for being crude. We want only peppy, puppy dog we want, which is pug. You know, that crap we need to get out of. So the anger comes not because I don't understand. I was in that supermarket once. But my anger comes from the fact that we are not transforming quickly. I want to give you an example, which is very simple, which will put things into perspective. 
Do you know when smoking was banned in this country? Out in, with, I mean, in a public place? It said, no, they said they will never do it. My husband said, what utter rubbish, it'll never happen. Guess what, it happened. A system enabled it. It just was right time, right place. The same way, let's look at the supermarket with our poor street dogs, which could also get homed, our backyard breeders, our reused, you know, stressed out dogs who are rejected, abused. I can't tell you some of the stories. Let's get that conveyor belt going the way it should. And let's get more people to the supermarket. Let's educate those people in the supermarket. And let's make this a so, so in, in, term, in terms of educating people, in terms of getting people to be more sensitized about what's going on, there is, would you, would you say, Priya, that there's enough of a voice in the city that's enabling people to get sensitized? Panels like this, for example? A lot. So for groups like, for example, what I run, which is Kaban Park and I, Sudha at Care, Sudha does in fact more than anybody else I know does. But the sensitization from indie dogs will only come from examples. I'll give you one of the BBMP Special Commissioner, Randeep or Bhaskar Rao, our police commissioner. Both of them have indie dogs. Both of them. They, 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 they show by example. The places like Kabul Park Canines or Dog Park on Sundays are constantly reiterating and reinforcing indie dogs or rescues. We are very clear. If you see one fancy Shih Tzu coming in or one of those Akitas, you know, with those cool dudes floating around saying, you know, we have like, oh, this is my pedigree dog. People sneer. It's not cool anymore Yeah, to have a pedigree dog. You know, if, it's if, cool. if each one of us can do this. I mean, I know that my, the people who work in my house, my maid, my driver, various people had a terrible attitude about BD9. They said, yeah. Rama, why are you with this BD9? And because I have so many BD9. Now they each have two BD9, not a pedigree dog, which they were ready to spend money. So that, do you, money do you feel, uh, writing off Radha's statement over here, do you really feel that uh, this, it's, the situation is improving in terms of the sensitization of people to street dogs and Very people much. generally understanding? Yes, very much, Ranji. It is improving and because I can see it in the numbers, the statistics that I have, that every month the number of people who come in to adopt indie pups and who want pups, you know, vaccinated indie, cute indie pups from care is on the increase. And uh, even I have reached a situation where once I didn't have pups to give people and I had to, you know, book them and then get good pups for them, which is, I don't know, it, it is the most wonderful thing that can happen to somebody in welfare who runs a shelter like me. It is increasing and we also at CARE, we are doing this humane education. Every month we have about 20 sessions with people all over, with children, with everybody, talking to them about adopting Indies, taking them off the streets like Naresh was like saying, you know, we are doing it, but there are limits and it will take time. It will take time. Yeah, there has to be I, a will. But, but a as, as if it's, uh, so you're, the, the net result is it's, it's on the upward swing right Absolutely. now. Where people are yeah. getting sensitized yes. Yes. and people yes. are getting to understand what happens.